Minnesota Fighting Vikings are continuing to fill out Kevin O'Connell's inaugural coaching staff, and they got another good one. Tight end, passing game coordinator. Woo, let's go, man. Jeremy Fowler, ESPN. Vikings will be hiring Brian Angelicchio as a passing game coordinator slash tight ends uh, per source. Angelicchio was tight ends coach in Carolina, so the veteran NFL assistant gets a bump in title, yada, yada, yada. And I think that... Uh, first off, Kevin O'Connell is assembling just an, an amazing staff. We'll get to this in a second. And the pieces are coming together, but it's whatever. So, Brian Angelicchio. By the way, Angelicchio sounds like a high-end restaurant that you went f to for Valentine's Day. You love the garlic bread. It's good times, man. Uh, Angelicchio, 49 years young, coached in college for 17 years before jumping to the NFL in 2012 with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, following Greg Schiano from Rutgers. And then he was Mike Pettin's tight ends coach for the Browns, 2014-2015. Connection. Boom. Also, Kevin O'Connell was the Browns quarterbacks coach in Cleveland 2015. He had three years in Green Bay before heading to Washington to reunite with Kevin O'Connell. And it feels so good. Uh, the year that KOC was OC, he actually replaced Wes Phillips, who is now the Vikings offense coordinator. He left to join Sean McVay and the Rams as tight ends coach, pass game corner, etc. And then he spent two years with Matt Rule and the Panthers. And now he replaces Brian Periani, the, the last remnants of the Kubiak contingent. It's being washed out. A notable players coached Dallas Clark. I forgot that the corpse of Dallas Clark finished out his career in Tampa Bay. That's so weird, man. Luke Stocker, Vikings legend, was also with the Bucks. Jordan Cameron, who would have been really solid. I loved him at USC, but had concussions and whatnot. Also, he coached Gary Barnage in 2015. Gary Barnage had the most random 1,000-yard season in NFL history. Like He was a tight end two, tight end three, blocking tight end. And then all of a sudden, 2015, Kevin O'Connell and Brian Angelicchio were in Cleveland, also John D. Filippo. And then Barnage goes off for 79 catches, 1,043 yards, and nine touchdowns, and went to the Pro Bowl. Just out of nowhere. The, the rest of his career, I don't think totals up to those numbers. Angelicchio. That's right. That's right, man. Also, the corpse of Jimmy Graham, he coached in Green Bay. Also, Vernon Davis, Jordan Reed in Washington. And also, Tommy Tremble, uh, mid-round pick from Notre Dame. I really enjoyed him coming out. But, hey, hey, maybe Tommy Tremble could come along. Because I don't think we'll be able to re-sign Gronklin. But it'd be what it'd be. Also, we said that uh, it is nice that Angelicchio and Wes Phillips have a background uh, with tight ends as uh, as their titles are now passing him, corner and OC, respectively. So, it would stand the reason that... Irv Smith still uh, on his rookie deal, as well as maybe the resign Gronklin. I'm not really holding my breath, but they could have a major season this year in the passing game. Also, I love that both Phillips and uh, Angelicchio have background co uh, coaching offensive line. So your passing game coordinator and OC understand what understands what is going on with the offensive line. Also, Chris Cooper, the new Vikings offensive line coach, has been a step back in the day. So they went heavy. They're heavily focused on... Uh, the offensive line, which I love to see. So we got O'Connell in place. Phillips coming along from Los Angeles as well. Quarterbacks coach, TBD. In the back of my mind, I'm still thinking it could be John Filippo. You know? And I think JDF got a little bit of a bad rap. His one, well, not even year. His 13 games here with the Vikings. Because he and Zimmer obviously didn't see eye to eye on what they wanted to do on offense. And also, it was very clear that Filippo was trying to use his season with the Vikings as a chance to get a uh, head coaching job, a la what Pat Shermer did in 2017. He wanted to do that in 2018, and it didn't work out, and not so much. And Jared Johnson as assistant quarterbacks coach, uh, I love that pickup as well. Ooh, Aggie connection, him and Kellen Mond. Curtis Mockins is a stud. Kellen McCardle staying in place. Brian Angelicchio, a tight ends pass game corner, get it on. Chris Cooper, like we talked about. They need to start filling out the defense. They got Donatel in place. Mike Pettin is just floating around doing things, and also uh, Chris Rumpf is a great addition on the defensive line. Uh, but, yeah, I think that Kevin O'Connell's first staff is coming along very swimmingly, and Brian Angelicchio, uh, welcome to the Minnesota Fighting Vikings. But uh, your thoughts on our thoughts. Angelicchio, tight ends coach, passing game coordinator, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but until next time, Skull, production value.